All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we're going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who we learned this truth from. Peace and blessings to the elect men pushing the sound doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth in truth and sincerity. I'm the brother of Gabar. I'm Shamar. Yeah, we just come together through the spirit, you know, to do a quick and transit um, lesson. You know, Yahweh Rath is edifying. We're going to just jump right into the scriptures. It's the book of Romans, chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. Yeah, and what's the, what's the Israel seeking for, man? The truth, mainly. All right, knowing who you are. All right, what's your what's your uh, your purpose on this earth? And and um, they they don't they don't find that here, man. All right, but the election have obtained it. All right, obtained the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of uh, the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and the rest were blinded. If I can add this real fast, and that's why the scripture saying, I believe Jeremiah, why trimmest thou ways to to, to, to uh, seek love? Because you're looking for love. What is real love? Love is fulfillment of the law, statute, and commandments. Love is fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai and keeping his law, statute, and commandments to the, uh, to the best of your capabilities while you're here. And niggas, niggas trim that off. Niggas cut that off. Okay, from serving the Lord, you know, keeping the law, statute, and commandments to what? To serving Esau, serving their own flesh, you know, looking to fit in in this society when it's obvious that this society is not tailor made or anything for us, man. You know, this is not our place of rest, according to Micah, the second chapter. You got it, brother. Verse 8 According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Yeah, so the Lord did this to you, man. He doesn't want you to get right, man. He wants you to be destroyed because y'all ain't right. What's the theme of this lesson, Shamar? Yeah, it's gonna come as a thief in the night because you niggas ain't right. There you go. Yep. All right, so the Lord he he set it up that way purposely because two thirds of you niggas y'all never been right, really. Yeah, that's why the scriptures say in Isaiah the first chapter, why should you be stricken anymore? Because yep. how many times the Lord has put us through captivity, set, set up judges to deliver us, and then put us into captivity again? He tired of doing that. You niggas don't never listen. You don't get it. So now this is going to be the final time where he's going to chastise you, man, with that nuclear fire, man. Yeah, the Lord said, I'm weary with your repenting. Because niggas, niggas ain't sincere. You know? Niggas used to have a, 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 a sacrifice ready to uh, uh, to throw up for, for the sin that they was already premeditating to commit. You know? Niggas just, just, it just got to a point where, where nothing was sincere with Jake. All right? You got it, bro. Yeah, verse 9. And David said, Let their table be made a snare, and a trap, and a stumbling blocks, and a stumbling block, and a recompense unto them. Yeah. And it was a, it's, a, it's a snare and a trap, man. When they try to get they try to uh seek the truth or try to find it out where they go, man. To these harlot houses, man. Alright, you listen to these false prophets out here. Alright. And it's a, and then when you come across us, it's really a stumbling block, because then you think that you had the truth and you come across us and you say that we we don't got it. Mm -hmm. You just get offended. But really, it, like going back to like I said, it's just set up for you not to get it in the first place, man. Eyes that you can't see and ears that you don't hear. And if I can add this too, because that's referring that that part that the brother just uh, uh, just quoted, in with in which uh, the apostle Paul is quoting, goes back to to the prophet Isaiah. Okay, Isaiah six and nine on down. And Isaiah said, how long, basically how long would the simple, the two-thirds of our people be, be blinded from receiving this truth? And what the Lord said to the, the city, well, matter of fact, we're just going to grab it. We're just going to grab it. Give the spirit. All right. We're going to hop right back there. Yeah. I'm going to get that for you. Please. You know, let you, let you know, like the theme of this show. Please, can you say it one more time, Shamar? It's gonna come as a thief in the night because you niggas ain't right. You niggas ain't right, and the Lord knows that. That's why the Lord wants you to be blinded. He wants you to be uh, not on your watch, off guard, you know, to not be watching. So he can destroy your ass, man. Because you ain't right. Go ahead, huh? Isaiah 6 and 9. And he said, Go and tell these people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Yeah, and that's what we, when we out there, and if somebody can't understand it, that's what we tell them. Like, hey, man. We can sit here and talk to you all day, but you're not going to get it. It's not meant for you to get it. And when you tell a nigga that 
it's just not it's not for you that's when they they, they get mad they get offended. butthurt yeah they get offended like what you mean it's not for me so i can't get it no Big nigga brother, this is supposed to be like out. you literally you can't get it supposed to be preaching love they they think that it's like it's like some Esau some bullshit that Esau teach you in the school. It's like oh, the teacher just gotta teach you the book, whatever, book work, this and that. No, nah, understanding this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is not given to everybody, man. Ew, that spirit, like the uh, the other brother Yahweh Kawa was going into um, this past camp. You know, wisdom shall not enter into a malicious soul. You niggas ain't right. You niggas are wicked. Why would the Lord impart these jewels and these precious uh, 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 words? His spirit until you, you demonic ass niggas, man. You know? Man, what would you do with it? You would do nothing but wickedness with it, having that knowledge and understanding. Like that nigga uh, uh, in Georgia, Jordan 2 3, man, jump man. Oh uh, man, when you, you know, you can have, when you have this this wisdom, you have, you, you have these people eating out the palms of your hands. What the fuck you mean? Ultimately, he was talking about the brothers too. Yeah, ultimately. What the fuck you mean, people? You talking about brothers. That you look at as, as regular people. When these are men of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You doing this unto the Lord. Really? This ain't regular people. And you ain't supposed to be dealing like that in the world. Exactly. But hey, but like you said, you quoted, I'm gonna bring it out. Sirach 14 and 3. Riches are not comely for a nigger. And what should an envious man do with money? Yeah, riches ain't comely for a nigger, man. And these spiritual riches ain't comely for a nigger, man. Cause what do you do with it, man? Just like a nigga when he gets money, what does he do with it? He just blows it on bullshit. The nigga that gets this knowledge, he's just gonna use it for bullshit, man. Really, really, they bug out. A nigga that never had money or, or don't have no values, he bug out when you get that much money to him. All right, you fuck it off. You know he'll he'll make mistakes. He's just, just like a nigga with this truth. He'll bug out. You want to be flexing on everybody and be and be, and be uh, looked at at some high level in the eyes of men. Like dudes that got money, they want to be flossing their money. Wear all these this jewelry, buy all these expensive cars, this and that, just so what? So they so everybody can see them and be like, oh, this dude got money. Just like a dude with the, a nigga that gets the knowledge, he only wants to flaunt the knowledge just so somebody can be like, damn man, that's that's a dude that's hella deep. Yep. He, oh, he high level, this and that. When you you still a nigga though, even though you know these all this knowledge and history, this and that, you still have the ways of a nigga that didn't change. And you the worst type of nigga too. Yeah. The worst. I'm gonna go back to that in Isaiah 6. Back in Isaiah 6, I'm going to read 9 again. And he said, Go and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shed their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert and be healed. Yeah, at least you convert and be healed, and the Lord doesn't want you to do that, obviously. Yep. Because he doesn't, he, he knows that you niggas ain't right, and you're not really, you're not worthy of receiving it. Um, grace man and mercy from the lord because look at how you niggas act whenever any any whenever the lord the lord's showing mercy right now look how you niggas acting all right being hard-headed and everything and you think that the lord wants you to get right after all these all the repeated cycles that generation after generation you say spirits coming back doing the same wickedness all right the, the lord he knows that there's nothing good coming out of you man that's why he got to put the laws in you and force you to be right in, in the kingdom Yet on this side, he gonna put you niggas to death. Yeah, see the difference between, you know, now and, well, you know, I'm gonna just say the last 400 years from when we was brought over here, is that the Most High, he got his prophets out here now, you know? He got the true, the true doctrine is out there, all right? The way of the Lord is, is being made known, you know? What's pleasing to him and what's not. Okay, that's, hey, can you get Isaiah um, 58 right quick? Uh, 58 and 1? Yep, all right. right quick, Bible Kasha. Yeah, yeah, cause man, Nick, Jake, Jake will think they're gonna think they just uh it's cool for him just to continue on in, in wickedness, you know. But hey, the most high, what well, he got the spirit of pushing on us and being diligent, all right, to condemn you. Yeah. It's Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Yeah, and that's what we do. We cry aloud, man, you know, and we don't spare your feelings. Alright? We tell you exactly what it is, man. You know? Ultimately, it's like this, man. If you don't get right, the how about Shimmy how Shai is gonna kill you? Yeah. You know? Read it again, bro. It's Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Uh -huh. And show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sin. Listen, and, and show my people their transgression in the house of Jacob their sin. 
Alright? We try to show our people their transgression, but what? We just read Isaiah 6 and 9. They hey they blinded. Alright, but even deep down in Jake's spirit, Jake know it ain't right to be a fucking faggot. Jake know it ain't right, man, to commit adultery. You know? Hey, but what, man? They trim as their ways to seek love. They seek trim as their way, man, to feed their ego to be looked at as if they something, man. Yeah, to be accepted. Yeah, to be accepted, man. Mm-hmm. All right? In the eyes of men at that. Yeah. yeah. Be accepted by the wicked. Yeah, yeah. Your heart should be on um, being accepted by your by Shimmy I was shot, man. Right. Like like it says uh, uh, in Romans, the 12th chapter, making yourself, your body is a living sacrifice for the Heavenly Father. Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter. Yep. Proving with was holy and acceptable to the Heavenly Father, not acceptable yeah. to a man, you know? That's right. Uh, Isaiah 6, in verse 11, Then said, Ah, Yahweh, how long? And he answered, Until the cities be wasted without inhabitant, and the houses without man, and the land be utterly desolate. And our people are utterly desolate, man. Alright, they don't have... They're uh, Hosea 4 and 6. Yep, they, they destroy for lack of knowledge, man. All right, you see that that physically manifested on, on our people, man. This generation Z, all, right, all these people that's here on this earth now, man. They wax worse and worse, man. They're they're worse than niggas the, the previous generation before. You see the every generation just getting worse. Yeah, yeah and the Lord ultimately going back to the theme of this lesson. Can you say it one more time, please? It's coming as a thief of the night because you niggas ain't right. That's why this is coming as a thief of the night because the Lord ultimately wants to blind you, you niggas so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans from receiving, understanding, and receiving what's coming, okay? So that it can come to it as a thief in the night. Because why? Because you niggas are ultimately not right. You're not right in the spirit, okay? You know, you're not you're not fit for uh, uh, for salvation, all right? So the Lord, the Lord has sent angels to blind you to fulfill Zechariah the 13th chapter. So you two thirds can be utterly desolate and destroyed, man. That's right. I'm gonna go back to that in Romans 11 chapter. Yeah, that wicked line be cut off. Go ahead, brother. I'm gonna go back to that in Romans 11 right. and 9. It says, And David said, Let their table be made a snare and a trap and a stumbling block and a recompense unto them. Then Psalm 4 or 5. Hey, can you get that? Um, Psalm 69 and 22. Okay. Yeah, because David actually, you know, put up a curse on these niggas, man. Yep. Oh, man. Uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, the 18th chapter. Yep. You know, because here it is, we stand up, man. You know, we make our body a living sacrifice, man. All right? We out here telling you uh, what's right and what's wrong, you know? We, act, we out here telling you how to prepare yourself for the time to come, man. But yet still, you want to kill us. Yeah. All right? And, and the Lord is showing his men that these niggas ain't right. Yep. Yeah. They need to die. And they're get, and, and the Lord's men are getting on the same wave link as, as Yahweh by Shemi was shot. What, Jeremiah 3 and 15? Yep. I would give you, I would give you prophets according to uh, pastors according to my heart. We're getting on the same, on the same accord as the heavenly Father. The more that we, uh, we go through this hell. Yeah. Because he he increases us in the spirit. You yep. know. More you and more of the Holy Spirit is, yeah. is, is being opened up to us. You know. Yeah, kind of, kind of. It's, uh, you want verse twenty two? Yeah. Uh, six, or you, how do you, where you want me to start? Let's see. Uh, sixty nine. Psalm sixty nine. I believe it's 22, though. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, let their table be Yep, 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 yep. This is this what the Apostle Paul quoted. Malak Dawadaw, King David. Continue. That's right. Uh, Psalm 69 and 22. Let their table be uh, become a snare before them. Yeah, and that table is talking about Yahweh Shai. All right? Because even if you read up, you know, King David was actually talking about Yahweh Shai. He was prophesying yep. about what would happen to Yahweh Shai. Yep. Okay? And Yahweh Shai is what? He's the bread of life. You know what I mean? Read it again, huh? Uh, it's in Psalm 69 and 22. Let their table become a snare before them. Yeah, so when you go down, you sit down to, okay, you might want, you know, Jake, scripture. yeah, you know, Jake, uh, get that point in their life, he might be in the cell, or might, you know what I mean? Or he might see Kodak Black or Kendrick Lamar said, all right, then you come across this, uh, this, this true doctrine. All right, because you're going to see them in the Great Millstone. Because we ain't nobody pushing harder than us through the yeah, Spirit. Yeah, that's a given. You're going yeah, you, to see you, them in the you, Lord. You go hey, to Israel, like man. You say, gonna, thy eyes shall see thy teachers. That's right. So if you go into Israel, you're going to see the men of Great Millstone starting the apostles and the elders, all right, and all their fruit just flooding, flooding the web, you know. You might sit down and eat of it, and then what? You're going to get offended. Yep. You might get offended at how we uh, how we talk about the uh, the so-called white man, the, uh, the, 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 end, the end woman. Okay, we said how we going in the two thirds ain't gonna make it, but this is all part of the doctrine, man. America's gonna be destroyed. Yep. 
whatever type of uh, way you're offended, man, hey, it's meant for you to be offended. You know, it's meant for you to stumble at Yahweh Shah. Because the Lord wants to destroy you. It says, and that which shall have been for their welfare, let it become a trap. Hey, that, that which shall have been for their welfare. Hey. All right. You got it, bro. Did you say something? Yeah, it is a spirit because I was looking, I was meditating on the scripture earlier uh, this past week. I looked into that word, basically like uh, uh, in the blue letter for welfare. You know that whole that whole uh, part in the word is shalom. Mm, peace. It mean it says completeness, soundness, welfare, peace. Yep. Ain't no peace unto the wicked. You know, like the scriptures say in Isaiah, I believe. Yep. So there is no peace unto the wicked of our nation, of our of the nation of Israel. You two thirds. Hey, this go come as a thief in the night because you niggas ain't right. All right, you coming in the spirit of Esau, man, the wicked himself. Job, I mean John, Saint John, eight and forty four, man. You are your father, the devil. You know, just bring. I just wanted to bring out that word, man. That welfare, man. It's not gonna be peace unto you. It's peace unto the uh, uh, the righteous, the elect. Yeah, but it's gonna it's gonna bring uh, destruction unto you. That's right. King David just said, "Let it be made a snare, a trap." Yeah, it's gonna be a trap. It's gonna be evil unto you. You know, <laughs> verse twenty three. Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not, and make their loins continually to shake. <laughs> Let their eyes be darkened, that they see not. Hey, right, that's why it's gonna come as a, as a thief in the night, you know? Cause they uh, two thirds are in utter darkness, man. They don't got no idea what's coming to the planet Earth. They don't even know what, what the fuck going on in the planet Earth now. Hey, they don't even know who they are. Oh, they don't man. know their they don't know their position and roles in, in, in life. That's why they got that saying: pursuit of happiness or, or finding finding yourself. You know what I mean? Man, that's all bullshit, but yet that's all that, that all comes with that, that Babylonian uh, wicked wine, you know? That's right. Uh, verse 24, pour out thine indignation upon them and let thy uh, wrathful anger take hold of them. Oh, you can speak on it, bro. Yeah, man, pour out thy indignation upon them, thy righteous anger. Man. Because you niggas are not right, man. The Lord is justified by everything that he's been bringing towards you, nigga, and everything that he's about to bring towards you, nigga, man. Do you think it's bad now? A, 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 a so-called police killing here and there? So-called black-on-black? So-called Latino on Latino? Israelite violence? Whatever? All this shit, man, this ain't nothing compared to what the Lord really has in store for you two-thirds, man. You know? It says, pour out thy indignation upon them and let, let thy wrathful anger take hold of them. Because uh, contrary to popular belief, the Lord hates you niggas, man. The Lord is upset with you niggas. It repents the Lord that he made you niggas, really. Because why? You're not fulfilling the, the, uh, the full duty of, of, of an Israelite man. You're not fearing Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Okay? You're not, you're not, hey man, what happened to that, that old sin, that worldly sin? What would so-called Jesus do? Niggas don't even think about that nowadays, man. All right? Niggas don't think, of, nigga, hey, my people, my people do not consider. You don't consider what's pleasing in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, your maker, man. All right, you you consider what's, what's pleasing into your wicked ass flesh, what's pleasing unto the eyes of men. You know. That's right. Uh, uh, verse twenty-five. Let their habitation be desolate, and let none dwell in their tents. You see that? Going back to Isaiah six and nine, to the cities be utterly desolate, man. You niggas, all right? Cause, cause, cause uh, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, all right? So, so until you, hey man, until Babylon is completely destroyed, with you niggas in it, you're gonna die the death of the uncircumcised since you wanna be so much of a fucking heathen, you know? And cursed until the Lord comes. Yeah. You know? And that's for you niggas that, that knew the Lord and forsook him. Ultimately, all, uh, all you two thirds, you know? Yeah, hey man, those who knew better, man, you're gonna get beaten with more stripes. You know, right. we brothers got it. Yo, I got a precept for you. All right, All right. Uh, this is Ezekiel twenty-one and nine. Son of man, prophesy. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna start at eight. Again, the word of Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy. Say, thus saith Yahweh. Say, a sword. A sword is sharpened and also furbished. Yeah, man, and that sword. Uh, uh, going to Psalm what seven, uh, seventeen and thirteen, I believe. Yep, and, yep. You know, the sword being Esau. And, and, um, and being these plagues, man, mm -hmm. the ultimate plague being the missiles. That's right. So everything that the Lord is sending towards you is, is nothing but pure judgment. 
and it's in the form of a sword. That's why it's called Jacob's Trouble. Yeah, Jacob's Trouble, man. That's a that's a key title. It ain't saying the trouble of the world, cause the Lord don't give a fuck about the rest of these people, man. They don't say the nation's trouble. Yeah, the nation's trouble. He saw, man. He saw already got. Uh, he saw already is already finished, man. Which, which those people gonna get jacked up too? They already. You got know, it. but this is all the, cause this is the final judgment that the heavenly Father is gonna bring upon two third niggas. Why? Yeah. Because hey, like it says, what the end was the third chapter, three and one. The Lord made a made a covenant with y'all, with the nation of Israel. Therefore, He's gonna judge you, man. He's gonna deal with you. Like sons, and, and majority of you like bastards, man. Yep. Because you don't want to be a child of Yahweh Shemiah Shah. You don't want to be a prince of power. You want to be an American. What's today? The 4th of July? You want to be a fucking Babylonian. You want to be a so called African American. You want to be a so called Latino American. You want to be, you want to make it here. You want to get your green card, all right? You want, you want, you want to pursue happiness and, and life in Babylon when this place is completely through and it's not for you, man. Right. <clears throat> Verse 10 It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter huh. It is furbished that it may glitter Should we then make mirth? Yeah, so you see And that's why, that's why uh, it said I believe, I want to say The Proverbs, the book of Proverbs mm -hmm. You know, it's better to go into the house of mourning Than the house of mirth yeah. I believe it's you the know? book of Ecclesiastes It's like, yeah, that's what it was Ecclesiastes, the water brother You know, because, hey man Woe unto him that laughs now, because you're going to weep and mourn, man. That's coming for you, for you, Jakes, man. You about to say something, Jamar? Oh, nah. Oh, okay. It says, should we then make mirth? Yeah. Niggas actually, try, hey, but what's that? Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived, the most high is yeah, not yeah, mine. Yeah, yeah. That's right, yeah you bro. can't scoff the Lord. Yeah, you all, you scoffers, man. Hey, niggas be scoffing about the judgment. Niggas we tell them what's going to happen man. to them. They be like, oh, so the Lord going to do that to me? All right, we'll see. And you know, you know, Jake, man, Jake's a, a fucking scoffer. Niggas be scoffing at the words of the Heavenly Father yep. to a T, man. You know? Yeah, it says, it is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter, so we then make mirth. It contemneth the rod of my son as every tree. Verse 11 says, and he hath given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened, and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Yeah, the Lord is, is preparing you unto slaughter, man. Really? Lord is, is, is sharpening the sword, setting you niggas up in the traps, yeah. you know, so he can get the prey, you niggas, all right, along with the rest of these nations, man, let's not forget Esau, okay, yeah, man, we're dealing with our, our nation, all right, yeah, because it's for our people, yeah. the Lord, Lord. You, you other, you other, you other guys are outsiders, all right, you other nations, Esau, man, you, you this was never meant for you, okay, Really giving giving these these niggas what they wanted because yeah. the, the scriptures say them that hate me love death. Huh. So you hate you hate the Lord by your actions. So he's just like, all right, you don't want to choose my ways. I'm gonna give you what you want. Since you want death so bad, he gonna give it to you. Well, for the first chapter, uh, first chapter, he giving up, he giving them up to reprobate mind, to reprobate fact, spirit. I'm gonna give what you quoted, Shamar, in Proverbs 8 and 36. But he that sinneth against me wrong of his own soul. Yeah. You wrong your own soul, man. Because if you send it against the Yah Bashim Yah Shai, man, you just you're gonna be destroyed, man. And it destroys your body, man. You wanna eat pork, you now you're getting sick, you got parasites inside you, you you do lineups, you got razor bumps. <laughs> All these things that you do that's that's against the Lord, you're wronging yourself, man. It's not hurting nobody but you. That's right. All they that hate me love death. Yeah, so if you hate Yah Bashim Yah Shai, you love death, because the ways of Yah Bashim Yah Shai is the ways of life, man. If you're not any, if you're not trying to walk that those in that way, or in that path, that straight gate. You want to, yeah, that straight gate. You want to go to Broadway. You want to go. You want to go die with everybody else, basically. Yeah. Live fast and die young. That's what. That's what these niggas about. You only live once. You know. That's right. It's live um, it up. It's, aim, it's Amos nine and ten. It said all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. Yeah, and that's that's all our people. That's all the two thirds of our people. They all sinners, man. That's the spirit, and that's that sword that's being uh, furnished. Purchase, that's right. Yeah. You know, and it's gonna come as a thief in the night because you niggas ain't right. Yeah, that's the that's the theme. Yeah, man. So called white man. Ever since we've been over here, man, it's never been equal. We've been getting fucked up for centuries. Yeah. All right, but yet yeah, still, you niggas still, you know, can't hey, can't see that this is your enemy. You know, that's why you, man, the Lord gonna put this man turn that spirit up on these uh, on these Edomites, man, to come down on you niggas. You know, Revelation twelve and twelve. Yeah, straight up. 
You know? And niggas don't even see it coming, man. They still want to be hand in hand with the so-called white man. Hey, like the world is saying, seeing is seeing is believing. So you gotta see Esau for the devil. You gotta you believe when he come out with them M16s, them M raps, alright? You know, putting you niggas to death, kicking in your doors at three in the morning, throwing you the art uh, uh, concentration camps. Then you gonna believe, but guess what? It's gonna be too goddamn late. Yeah, like it says in Proverbs, the first chapter. Yep. Yep. Then shall they call upon me, but he ain't gonna answer you, man. Hey, Hosea 5 and 15. 15. That's the spirit. I'll just think about that. Uh -huh. yep. All the sinners of my people shall die by the sword. We say, the evil shall not overtake nor prevent us. Yeah, and that's what they say when they come past us. We telling you niggas that judgment is headed on your on the way, and you be and you do y'all joke joke about it. Yeah, you make fuck about it. it. Yeah, you scoff about it. Thinking that you ain't gonna be touched, man. You make mirth of it. You laugh at it. You make light of it. I got precept. Zephaniah 1 and 12. And it shall yep, come yep. to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. And Jerusalem is a people before us a place, like I said earlier, through the Spirit. All right. So the Lord is talking about going through the midst of Israel. Go ahead, brother. And punish the men that are settled on their leaves that say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. Yeah, yeah, so they'll settle on their leaves. Jake is comfortable. Just as in Egypt, man, you know what I mean? What they want to go back for them goodies. All right, this is spiritual Egypt. All these uh these tainted ass gifts that the so-called white man, you know, their master, their um their, their father, the devil have given them, all right, got them comfortable. Destroyed their heart. Destroyed their yeah, but gift destroyed the heart. Yeah. So what Jake is just a complete reprobate. Yeah. All right, he says sit on sit on their leaves that in their heart, that say in their heart, Yahweh will not do good, neither will he do evil. All right, so we go out and, and speak about uh, death and destruction because that's what's coming to the earth. Like, oh, God is love. God wouldn't do that. No, nah, man, God ain't. God is all love. Okay. When you hey, when you go into the uh the, to the to the to the terror of the heavenly Father, man, you see that He ain't no joke. And hey, can you get that Second Corinthians five out five and eleven, knowing that for the terror of the Lord. Yeah, I got you. Out. Yeah, man. Hey, but see, we know two thirds of you niggas are just allotted for uh, allotted for brutal death, man. The Lord gonna make it public too. You know, the Lord, Lord been making the public. Remember, this is spirit. The elder brother Corner Wolf was going into the death of uh, XXX Tentacion, which was on camera. All right, and then another rap nigga died. Oh, and man. then that same night, when X died, another rap nigga died in his own town too, Jimmy Wapo. Yep. They just didn't have it on film. Yep. This other nigga died into Toronto, man. Yep. Somebody who affiliate who somebody who somebody who was affiliated with Drake. All right, that wicked ass nigga. They had this nigga leak, and it was a spirit. I said it. They probably got him leaking out on the streets, and then lo and behold, I found the footage of this nigga, and they had him right on the crime scene, brains blown out on the streets, man. And these niggas made light of it. They ain't, people are quicker to, to to record you with your brains leaking, you bleeding out on the streets, than to, to call Esau to to, call to your to your uh, to your rescue. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. cold. Yep. They don't give a fuck about you and your judgment. You know? They rather they rather uh, uh get get uh, um please their followers, man. Follow your saying great great dick day. Yep. You know? It's more folly unto them, like, hey man, look at this, man. Alright, yet yeah, that's gonna be you niggas. Yep. You didn't consider that that nigga on the floor with his planes blown out is gonna be you. You know? You think it's a game. Yeah, you, don't, you don't even consider the judgment of the Lord. Yeah. This is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 5, uh, verse 11. Knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. Yeah, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord. How terrible the, uh, the Lord is, man. All right? And I was watching the uh, Apostle Tahar. He went into that word. It basically means phobia. Fear, you know? You uh -huh. better fear the Lord, man. Okay? And knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. All right? So what we good out here and we tell you about the judgment that's going to come. Okay, whether you hear or whether you forbear, man. So we ain't out here trying to uh, get it, get man, get everybody together or wake everybody up. You know what I mean? We know it's only uh, it's only a lady for a few, you know. Yeah. Okay, but still at the same time, we just getting the blood off our hands, man. Straight and we up. see what's gonna happen to you, rebellious ass, hard headed jakes, man. The Lord gonna bring judgment upon you. You know, cause you don't even consider the ways of the heavenly Father, man. You know, they've totally went in the way it came, man. Two thirty, two thirds of you niggas, man. Yeah, yeah, brother, say anything else? I'll uh, finish it off. But okay. we are made manifesting to the most high, and I trust also are made manifesting in consciousness. Yeah, that, hey, we're made manifesting the consciousness of uh of the elect. 
Yep. You know, those who I have ears to hear, you know, and eyes to see. Those that have fear of Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. That's right. Two, two, two thirds, man, you yeah, know. You you're think, good. Yeah, you think it's just a joke. Before the day, the Lord's gonna, the day of the Lord's gonna come as a thief in the night. Yeah, because yeah. you niggas ain't right. That's it. Okay. Hey, man, with that, we're gonna give all praise down and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakodash, and um, Shalom to the lick, and death to two third niggas. That's right, man. Shalom. Shalom to the lick.